Hello everybody, my name is Gavin van Boekel. I'm working with Unilever and I'm currently the CFO of the Benelux business, our Austrian, uh, Swiss and German business, our Nordic business and our Italian business. Uh, when COVID hit last year, I was the CFO of our global food solutions business. And that's what I want to talk to you about in the next minutes. So last year, I changed my perspective on two elements. Firstly, serving leadership. I already believe in serving leadership, but when your company is facing a crisis like COVID, even more in those kinds of circumstances, you need to make sure that you support your people from the back. And you need to give them the opportunity to define for themselves what is best done locally. And because in times of high uncertainty, agility is needed. And you can't do that from the center. And so, especially over the last 12 months, we have really, as a leadership team, circled around and said, okay, how can we support our people in markets best? How can we be showing serving leadership, enabling them, empowering them to do what they think is best under these circumstances locally? So one element is that. The second element is all around how do we prioritize? And prioritization is, of course, key, but in times of crisis, it's even more so. How do you really say what is your number one, two and three priority? And for us, that was clearly our people first. Are our people safe? Are the families of our people safe? And that was the foremost priority we did in the first couple of weeks after COVID hit. Then looking at our customers. We serve, as Unilever Food Solutions, many restaurants around the world. And those were in dire needs. When you close down the restaurant, there is no income, but fixed costs continue. And then thirdly, it's our own business model. How do you make sure you still have cash to pay the wages, etc.? We really went about it in that order over the first couple of weeks. And I think that prioritization also gives clarity to the people. And so we didn't give them four or five messages coming down at the same time. It was us at leaders having a very clear narrative and saying, now it's number one, number two, and number three. Being present is, of course, extremely important, but it's also, I have to say personally, very, very difficult. When COVID hit, uh, Unilever, like many other companies, told their employees to work from home. And actually now, 14 months later, I'm still working from home. So you don't have any connection with your colleagues other than via what I always say, the autistic black box in front of you called the PC. And that causes its own challenges. And because talking to the PC the whole day, it's easier to get distracted than when you are in a meeting. It's easier to start multitasking, looking at emails, looking at your, uh, uh, your iPhone or what have you. And, and then to stay in the moment is, I think, what is truly important, but also difficult. And so one of the things we did, for example, was we start shortening meetings. And so in the beginning, all meetings were at least half an hour or they were an hour. And that fills up the day, but it isn't really making best use of people's time. And also because of time zones, the day started at like eight in the morning and ended at seven in the evening or later with hardly any breaks. Now, it's very tiresome to sit behind the PC for such long periods of time. So being there in the moment really matters. And thirdly, don't forget about Let's have some fun activities on top. If we're not careful in this environment, it all becomes extremely and highly functional, where it's also very important to continue building your team, having the conversation about what happened in the weekend, what happened in the family, whatever you would normally have at the coffee corridor. So make sure that you also cater for that. I think those are the two key things that at least help me to stay in the moment. So the future of leadership, I think two things are very important. One point I already spoke about, and that's serving leadership. I think in a world that's getting more ambiguous, more uncertain, old command and control structures don't longer hold. I think it's our job as leaders to really enable our people to be the best they can be, to give them the best possible tools and the best possible ways of working, to then get the best possible outcome and giving them the freedom in the framework to operate how they see fit and trust the people to do what's right rather than try command and control. The second part, I think, which is very important is around purpose. At Unilever, we play a lot of attention to finding your purpose, but then also living your purpose. And I think if somebody is doing a role that's really at the heart of their purpose, the heart of what makes them fit, they will also be great individuals in doing that job. They will be successful in their job. And I think having more of that human touch to it. So how can we match a person 
with their purpose, two roles and two opportunities, is something that will only become more important going forward, where the younger generations find topics like purpose, like finding a meaning, even more important than the older generations.